Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back, we are back. It is good to be back. Um, Got a good one for you today. And we're going to get into Charlie Sheehy and Ricardo Quiros. Um, I'm going to make this a quick video. I'm going to have it out for you today uh, in time to place your bet on this. DraftKings had it up and had it down, so I want to get this out for you guys. Now, before we do that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, so you had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to make money. Uh, join the Patreon as well. Link is in the description. It's also in the ticket below. Just $5 a month gets you all the perks, gets the lock of the week. It gets you everything that you need. $5 a month. Join uh, the boxing. Join the Patreon. Get the lock of the week. Get the up-to-date props uh, that aren't available when I release the video. Get the best boxing advice. Get asked to book anything. Request a fight. Request a video. I'll do that for you. Also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Charlie Shee, good fighter, decent looking prospect. Uh, long, snappy jab, good bounce to his step, good reflexes, really, really good from long range, accurate. Uh, Quick shots, quick reflexes. There's a lot to like about this pro uh, this, this prospect. I think this would be a, a, a fairly simple fight for him if this was supposed to be a step up. I, I don't really see it that way. Um, he's, she's fought mainly at 35. This fight's con contracted at 140. Uh, but he's a really good long-range fighter. I guess he's accurate, he's quick, he's athletic. Uh, he's long for the weight class, 5'9". Um, couldn't find the reach. Um, not, not not relevant, but he's a quick, quick athlete. Excellent at keeping and maintaining distance. Good volume, pr pretty decent volume, pretty good speed, really sharp jab. His jab is his best punch. He uses it and he, he throws off in combinations. Good lateral movement. Patient stalker. High ring IQ type of guy. Nice. He selects his shots well. Picks his shots well. Picks his moment. Doesn't waste much. Shots are, are, are he's got those quick cutting shots. Like I feel like this is a guy who, as we get in, he's gonna cut people up, get get stoppages by way of cuts. Uh, he's a really quick counter puncher. Good, good counter puncher. He's he's a highly skilled guy who uses the ring, uses his speed, uses his jab, good feet, good volume. He's a, he's not I don't know if he's gonna be a world champ, uh, but he's a nice looking prospect. Right now he is uh, nine and zero, five knockouts. His power is okay. I guess he's got those, those quick cutting shots. I like him as a prospect. I think this is a nice looking fighter. Uh, Ricardo Quiros, Quiros. I I don't see much from him. again. If this is supposed to be a step up. I think that misses the mark. I don't think he's really better than the last two guys he's fought. Um, you know, we saw Sheehy uh, on the uh, TV with Lopez, Jermaine Ortiz card. That was, that was back in February. I didn't realize it was that long ago, but that was the last time we saw him. It's a good prospect. Kuros, conservative, defensive-minded, low punch out, but he's he's an opponent. I, 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 he's a, if you go back and we've seen him before, um, Quiros, we, we, we've seen him with uh, Tiger Johnson and uh, Giovanni Cabrera. He also fought Rohan Polanco. He, he doesn't even seem to be fighting to win. He seems to be fighting to survive. He seems to be fighting for a paycheck. He's content on hanging on the outside. <laughs> Defensively minded. Uh, won't engage. He doesn't look to be fighting to win. I mean, he looks to be an opponent. I, so I see him going the distance. He can survive. Nice feet. He, he has. You know, he's got some nice. He's got survival skills. Like that's the only way that I can put it. He spends a lot of the fight trying to survive. He's not a volume guy. He's not a puncher. He's an opponent who can survive rounds. He can take. I. I. I you know. I just like this fight going the distance. Now, see, he's not a huge puncher, but he's a decent puncher, and uh, Quiros goes the distance. It's, it's kind of like what he's there to do. 
He's he's fought anywhere from 35 and 40. He's fought above 40. He fought Giovanni Cabrera, went the distance. He fought Dante Johnson, went the distance. Fought Rohan Polanco, went the distance. Fought Jermaine Ortiz, went the distance. Like, this fight's going the distance. And I, I think that's a, a pretty good bet. I think that's a pretty safe bet that we're going the distance on this fight. It's just not a guy. Like, you look at him, and he's just, he looks like an opponent who wants to survive. There doesn't really seem to be much else to him. He, he, he jabs a little bit. He won't open up. He won't take chances. He's not a puncher. He's not a, He's not an athlete. Low punch output, conservative, defensive-minded fighter against a, a guy that likes to jab and box from the outside. Like, to me, this is this is going – we're going the distance here in, in, in a fight that's not going to be ultra-exciting. Uh, so how do we make money on this? Charlie Sheehy, by decision, is a bet I really like. It's minus 250. You know, I, I like that a lot. I would bet that. That's that's one of my favorite bets. Um, so she, I'll, I'll pull up the odds right now. Sheehy on a money line is now up to minus 1,000. It's up from minus. You know, take it if you want. You can add that to your parlay. But the bet I really like here is Sheehy by decision. So if we miss on that, it's, it's a little bit of a hedge on, on, on Sheehy. You, you can make that bet as big as you want. He's going to win the fight. Like I said, uh, Kuros doesn't even fight to win. So you can make that bet big. And if you if it, she does if she stops him, which I really don't see happening, it's a little bit of a hedge. But take Sheehy on the money line. Add that to your parlay. Just add it to your parlay. Take Sheehy uh, by decision at minus 250 to make some money. So right here, two hundred fifty dollar bet would make you fifty five dollars. Uh, but the, really, the bet Sheehy on the money line is to increase the odds of your, uh, your parlay, make your parlay odds a little better. And then Sheehy on the money, uh, Sheehy by decision is the bet I actually like. Uh, bet one times bet on that minus two fifty hundred dollar bet in this case would make you forty bucks. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Remember to join the Patreon. Link is, the link is in the description below. Just $5 a month. Get you, get you all the perks. Get you all the benefits. Get you lock of the week. It gets you up-to-date props. It gets you everything. Uh, ask the bookie anything. Request a video. Everything that you need uh, for moving forward. It is July 13th, 2024. From Texas to the world. Thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.